Hey everybody, Tom Barnes. The story from the 78 today in Lincoln Park, right off of Armitage and Halstead, you have the crab and oyster bar. And in the basement, you got a gin joint, the gin commission. I'm gonna talk to Kevin. He's gonna give me the lowdown on this entire thing, but it's a great concept. They have over 50 options of gin. So you got stuff that maybe your grandpa used to try back in the day. And then you got all the trendy stuff. You got everything in between. And some of that stuff is fantastic. So you need to check it out. The story from the 78 is the gin commission here in the basement of Crab and Oyster Bar in Lincoln Park. All right, in the basement of the Oyster Bar, you have the gin commission, and this is a drink that's got a fantastic name. And I'm going to give Kevin all the credit just because I don't know any better right now. But Kevin, what's the name of this drink right here that we're seeing? This drink is a gin commission original called Loose Lips Sink Ships. <laughs> that's a fantastic name. And that's one of 49 different drink options that you have going on down here. Is that right? We have, we have 50 different gin options available, but we have 20 signature cocktails that we have on the menu. So how does it work? Do, you know, like is describe the kind of person that would probably really benefit for something like this, because it's not like your average, let's go and get a drink kind of place. This is like for the, I mean, sure. for people who are really interested in yeah, gin. This is, this is really gin focused. So we're in the heart of Lincoln Park. If you are a gin fan, this is the place to be. So uh, if you uh, are a gin collector or you enjoy gin or you like gin cocktails, this is the place to stop in. Uh, enjoy a drink pre-theater, post-theater. Uh, and everything in between. We're just here for the gin aficionados and fans. Right, yeah, just down the street, you have a couple of the theaters and plenty of other options around the area. But we saw, be before we get to this drink, we saw two other drinks being made. What was the first drink that yes, we were, so we're seeing there? the first drink that we made is our seasonal gin and tonic. We use Empress 1908 gin uh, and then elderflower tonic water from Fever Tree. Uh, it's a beautiful color that actually changes during the process of making the drink. So uh, seasonal gin tonic here will change seasonally uh, as the name says uh, so October 1st we'll be rolling out the new seasonal gin tonic to reflect the fall season in Chicago I know but the way you poured it down that that spoon there it just gives it this really awesome effect yeah so we use a bar spoon a lot of people have this bar spoon here and a lot of people have it at home and they're like why does it actually have that swizzle why does it twist uh, and the main reason is to preserve the integrity of the bubbles uh, in the tonic water. So if you run it down the bar spoon into the cocktail itself, the drink will stay bubbly and refreshing as opposed to going flat. Huh. I had no idea. You, you learn something new every day. And the second drink that you made? The second drink is the Bee's Knees. So it's a classic cocktail, uh, turn of last century. It's been around forever, uh, but they did it right back when they first made it in the early 1900s. Um, it uses Bar Hill gin, so a little bit of honey there, uh, some lemon juice, and then some uh, honey simple syrup as well. So if you're a honey fan, you'll love that drink. It's got a really cool garnish. Um, yeah, talk about that garnish. That is amazing. It yeah, looks so like almost a piece of uh, artwork. There. It essentially shame is. to drink. You get your own piece of artwork individually for every single one because each one is unique. But uh, we make those here in house. It's a honey syrup um, that is uh, essentially uh, crystallized, so it's in the uh, the form of the swizzle. It looks more like Jackson Pollock than anything, but uh, it sits on the lip of the glass and it's uh, beautiful, but does add a little bit of honey to the cocktail as well. And now we got the loose lips drink that I'm shortening yes. it to. <laughs> yes. But what do we have going on here? What's so going here, in this one? The loose lips sink ships is actually a cocktail that we came up with here at Gin Commission. Uh, it's a Negroni riff, so we use uh, three ingredients as you would traditionally use in a Negroni cocktail, but we just changed them up a little bit. So uh, the first one that I added is Branca Menta. It is uh, similar to Frenet Branca, but it's a little bit more minty. So we're thinking more uh, holiday spirit. If you like spearmint, if you like uh, like a, an Amari, something that is a little bit more full bodied, this will be for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we use uh, white vermouth. A lot of times the Negroni will use uh, sweet vermouth. We're using Carpano Bianco. Uh, and then the Loose Lips Sink Ships name ties into the <laughs> fact that this is a very potent cocktail. So we're using Navy Strength Gin from Plymouth as well. Uh, the Gin Commission uh, was named after a uh, commission of gin that was issued to all officers in the Royal Navy something that they would drink as they headed out to sea. Um, and Plymouth Navy Strength Gin was the gin that was issued to officers in the Royal Navy. So this is a nod to the gin commission name and also to that cocktail as well. And you um, get a little bit of history and you got a final touch here on this. Indeed. So we do, since this is a gin commission original, add our gin commission stamp to the ice cube here. Look at that. That around for you there. Look at that. Let's strain off the water. 
then the magic happens. The, the drink magic. is finalized. Yes. So people want to come by here. You highly recommend reservations. Is it a few weeks out? How does the whole thing work? Is it work in conjunction with what's happening upstairs at all? A little bit. I recommend reservations since we are very limited on space. We have 27 seats here, um, but it tends to fill up pretty quickly. So all of our reservations go through Talk, which is the online reservation system. Uh, we are open from 5 o'clock until 11 o'clock. And if you make your reservation, it guarantees a seat at the Gin Commission, and we'd love to have you here. Yeah, and it's a nice short walk from upstairs right down here, and you get this wonderful vibe in here, this space. It's just, uh, it's like a gin joint, the way a gin joint should be, right? That's exactly it's like it. like Humphrey said. It's the, way, it's the way a gin <laughs> joint should be. That's, that's what we are. It's uh, uh, downstairs in a basement. It kind of has a speakeasy feel, but this is a nice place to kind of go disappear for a little while. Uh, date night, uh, we do have snacks and some bites available too. So a little something for everybody here, especially oh. gin. And uh, one more time, the best way for people to find out more information about this? Uh, you can go to our website, which is thegincommission.com. Uh, we're on Instagram. Um, and if you go to the ginncommission.com, our website, you can actually get redirected to the talk link to make reservations there. Right. Thank Kevin. Cheers. Happy weekend to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You too. All right. That is the story from this 78 in Lincoln Park, the Gin Commission right underneath the Oyster Bar. Tom Barnish, Chicago at gmail.com. If you have a story you want to share with me or check out the website, storiesfromthe78.com. I'll see you guys later. Happy weekend.